to kicking off the holiday season, and we like to do it in style. And it's a tradition that Walt Disney himself began way back in 1955, okay? So we have loved to do this over the years. We absolutely do. Now, not only is this holiday season going to be great, but it officially kicks off today. So you are the first ones of the official holiday season. That means that the happiest place on earth just got we are excited. And not only is it merrier, but it will remain merrier all the way through January 6th, 2013. So plenty of time for this merry season. And of course, our holiday offerings include here at Disneyland Park, Sleeping Beauty's Winter Castle, which is just beautiful. Our Believe in Holiday Magic's Fireworks Spectacular. We have Haunted Mansion Holiday, which is so much fun. And then of course, our ever popular A Christmas Fantasy Parade. And that's been going on for a long time and we still love it. And then new this year, you can head over to Big Thunder Ranch and go join Santa's Jingle Jangle Jamboree. Has anybody been there yet? So much fun, such a gem. Jolly Old St. Nick is on hand to greet children of all ages, hopefully myself included in that. And there's all kinds of games and crafts and great entertainment. It's so much fun. And then coming up in January, Disneyland will pay a special tribute to Three Kings Day with special entertainment and decor and food, all themed and in tribute to the Latin American holiday tradition. So that'll be a lot of fun to look forward to. And if anybody's been over to Disney California Adventure, we've got all kinds of great new stuff happening over there. In fact, at Cars Land, you may have noticed that it's all been detailed for the holidays. <laughs> Thank you over there. I appreciate that. <laughs> detailed for the holidays. And they even have their own snow car. And if you've seen this, it's so cute. It's Radiator Springs version of a, a snowman, and it's got a cute like cone nose. I think it's adorable. And then, of course, if you go down to Buena Vista Street, they're getting ready to celebrate their very first holiday season ever with beautiful decorations and a 50-foot tall Christmas tree that's just gorgeous. And it really does bring us back to Christmases of yesteryear. And I've heard that Santa Claus himself has been known to frequent our classic department store, Elias and Company, so definitely worth visiting over there. And then at Mad Tea Party, Alice and the Mad Hatter have added their own off-kilter holiday spirit to this season over at the celebration there in Hollywood Land, and it snows. So we're having all kinds of fun. And that's not the end, believe it or not. If you've had a chance to walk through downtown Disney, you may have seen our brand new ice skating rink, which is themed after Tinkerbell's newest adventure, Secret of the wings and so that's a lot of fun as well there's so much to do Whew, I'm out of breath this is a great time of year this is my personal favorite time of year and I'm so happy to be here to share it with all of you and of course another big part of our annual holiday tra tradition is the celebration and transformation of our beloved attraction it's a small world each year, we love to add a special dose of seasonal magic to the beautiful attraction as we lend a winter overlay to its charming scenes and transform everything into It's a Small World holiday. And who better to join us and help us light up the holidays than the attraction sponsors? So please join me in giving a big heartfelt thank you to the attraction sponsor, Sylvania. We couldn't do it without them. And welcome this evening Disneyland Resort oh my, for hosting us this evening as Sylvania is proud to be the presenting sponsor of one of the most ionic attractions the world has ever known. It's a small world. It's a pleasure to be here tonight to help kick off the festivities and seeing all the park decorations these last few days has put me in the spirit of the holidays. Since Sylvania began its relationship with the Disneyland Resort back in 2005, we've enjoyed being associated with the amazing storytelling experience that happens here each and every day. And there is no better way to bring those stories to life than through the art of lights. Which shows us the It's a Small World will help us show how colorful and bright the holiday will be this holiday season. So on behalf of all the Sylvania, Osram, and Siemens innovators around the world, we wish you a jolly and bright holiday. Thank you. Thank you, Amy.
We couldn't do it without them. And now it is my pleasure to introduce another friend uh, representing Albertsons and their partner nonprofit organization called Operation Homefront, which provides emergency services to U.S. military families. Please join me in welcoming the president of the Southern California Division of Albertsons, Dan Sanders. Thanks, Jolie. Appreciate that very much. Uh, and thank you all for being here this evening on a wonderful evening. You know, this is a magical time of year, and one of the things that makes it so magical, of course, is the joy we have in, um, in giving to others. And just like our friends here at the Disneyland Resort, we're sharing the spirit of the season this year with military families through a special partnership with Operation Homefront. It's a great organization, and thanks to the generosity of our guests, and of course, Albertson's Giving Thanks program, we're able to provide full holiday meals for selected military members. And here in Southern California, we've uh, become connected with a very special family. And it seems like now's a good time, Jolie, to introduce that special family to all of our Disneyland guests. I would love to, it's such a pleasure. Now, our family story began soon after September 11th, 2001, when a brave patriot by the name of Mark Plummer walked into his local recruiting office and he enlisted in the United States Marine Corps. Now, after six months of training, Mark was sent to Iraq, where he was plunged into the heat of conflict. And through it all, the thing that kept him going and, and looking forward to returning home again was the thought of seeing his wife and family again. And so he fought bravely on day after day, even year after year, and he ultimately returned home in 2005 with a Purple Heart. Now, returning home isn't always easy, and soon Mark was forced to grapple with some injuries that he had in Iraq, as well as the transition into everyday life, which can be difficult, and tremendous financial burdens. But through Operation Homefront, Mark and his family were provided with a home and with a future. And tonight, it is our pleasure to honor them and to thank and recognize Mark for his great service to our country. So ladies and gentlemen, please join me in giving a great warm welcome to a true American hero, Staff Sergeant Mark Plummer, his wife Nicolette, and their children, Kiana and Valakai. we feel we could do. We're so honored to have you here, and we're honored to have you here to officially kick off the holidays of the Disneyland Resort. This is going to be fun. Now, I don't know if you've heard, but we at the Disneyland Resort kind of like to make memories. It's something we like to do, and with our friends at Sylvania, of course, and we'd like to create a special memory here just for you. Okay, so in a minute, we're going to light up this place like you've never seen. It's going to be really cool and you guys are the ones who are going to be a part of this. But before we do the official lighting, we want to make sure everything is set up and ready. And I noticed something. I don't know, Malachi, maybe you noticed this too. Um, this is a beautiful tree right here, right? But is there something missing? What's missing? The star. The star. That's right. You're a smart one. Well, I heard... A little mouse told me that she may have known where that star was put. So, Minnie Mouse, you want to show us where the star is? She hid it away. It's like the final touch. 
All right. Oh, it's in this box here. Okay, can, Malachi and Kiana, why don't you go over there and look and, and pull that star out of the box, okay? All right. How beautiful is it? Oh. Yeah, that, that's an empty box, Minnie. Yeah, oh, I thought we I thought we put the star in there, but apparently not. Where's the star? Was there a star in there? No. Oh, another one. Wait. I know that song. That can only mean one thing. Where is he? Where's the big mouse himself? Ladies and gentlemen, Mickey Mouse! And you brought the star. Of course, I forgot. You went to go polish it and make it perfect for them, right? Oh, you're always so thoughtful. Thank you, Mickey. All right, well, I think we're getting we're getting ready to light this place up. So why don't you hand that star over to Kiana? And Kiana, who do you think is the best person to put that star on the tree? My dad. A true American hero, I love that. How about a hand for Mark Plummer as he puts this on the tree? I think that's a perfect job for you, Staff Sergeant Plummer. All right, we're gonna take our places here. You ready for this? We're gonna count down from three in just a moment here, and this place is gonna light up like you wouldn't believe. I love this part. All right, you ready, Staff Sergeant Plummer? Ready, Plummer family? Mickey, Minnie, good? Everybody? All right, here we go. Counting down from three, all together, join me now.